Hey everyone, welcome to this full body workout for runners. It's going to be 15 minutes of 45 seconds on to 15 seconds recovery using just our body weight, so no equipment needed. I'll go over the exercises with you in the rest time and feel free to work at your own pace. Please make sure to warm up first. You can find a warm up video in the link below and have some water near you. Without further ado, let's get ready to begin. Okay, so first we have a knee drive with a reverse lunge. So we're gonna have our right foot plant and lift up with the left first, really exaggerating those quads. We're gonna use this quad before we use this one. Hands here, that quad, and then the front to lift. Let's go, up and back. And you can go as far back as you like. You can literally just step back down if you like. Focus on a point in the distance. Keep your head up, chest up, nice long spine. Working the quadriceps here, our main muscles moving, known as the agonist. So again, working in stages, back first, then the front. Keep the point in the distance and focus in. Really exaggerate those quads, strong in the quads. Excellent, good work. So already should be burning up a little bit. So now left foot planted, or the opposite foot to what you were using. Let's go. Don't worry if the balance isn't there at first. We warm up and it gets easier in time a good marker of progression and strengthen the quads and all those surrounding muscles. So for running this is really going to help us with that explosive lift up. Excellent, hand walkouts. We're gonna be at the end of the top of our mat, feet in line with our hips, walking our hands out as far as we can, walking them back, and we're just gonna carry on walking. Let's go. Out as far as you can, and walking back onto our heels. Relax, nice work. Okay, frog jump in. So, hands and feet in line with the hips. Actually, hands just outside the shoulders for this one. We're gonna jump in three, and one out. One, two, three, and then immediately jump back out. One, two, three, and out. Use that momentum on the third to help you three and out, jump back. Okay, single leg deadlifts next. Left foot planted, two hands down to the foot, leg up as so, and repeat. Let's go. 
Keep that back nice and straight. Really working our hamstrings here, our lower back. Bend that knee as generously as is comfortable for you. But we want to try and keep that shin quite vertical. Excellent, 15 seconds recovery, and we'll go on the other side. So that's right foot planted for me. Two, one, let's go. Excellent. Lateral reverse lunges now. At the top of our mat here, feet just outside the hips. And we're gonna go reverse lunge back, reverse lunge back. Hands here, nice and tall, head up, chest up. Always important for a lot of exercises. Head up, chest up. So we don't put too much pressure on the knees. Nice and tall, nice and tall. And step back as far as you like. You don't need to overexert. Okay, we've got some core work now. Leg raises, lying on our backs. Hands can be behind the head there. Legs up, gently lowering them and raising back up. Let's go. Nice and easy down. Feet don't touch the floor unless you want them to. something behind you for a bit more support. Try to keep that back in contact with the ground. And break, good. Knee raise with lateral rotation. So I'm going to be planted on my right foot first. Left goes up, out to the side, back and down. Don't touch the floor. And we're going up to the side, back, down. Good point in the distance. So left foot planted, up to the side, down, up to the side, back and down. Really good for balance this one and coordination. 
things that we need as runners. Tapping the glute med and the glute minimus as well. Something that can be missed with runners because we're just running in that sagittal plane. Excellent. Okay, we've got negative air squats now. Feet outside the hips, toes pointing outwards. I want to sit down like I'm sitting on the chair, all the weight in the heels. Uh, sit back, drive the knees out, but I want to go four down, so I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and up. One, two, three, four, and up. So glutes back, drive the knees out, head up, chest up. One, two, three, two, and up. Very important to drive those knees out. Excellent. Okay, we have mountain climbers, out, out. And we're gonna do them slow. So hands and feet in line with the hips. We're gonna go out, back, out, so nice and slow. Pinch that core, strong in the arms. Don't let those hips dip. And recover, good. Okay, hip extensions in plank position. So in our plank. And we're just gonna raise that left leg up. So left leg up. And nice and controlled back down. Good for the hips, good for the glutes. And a really good core workout as well. And you should feel it on the right as well. Tough exercise this, just be strong. Right to the end, right to the end. Oh, that was tough. Okay, now we'll go on the other side. Nearly done, guys, nearly done. Okay, so right leg up now. Let's go. Pinching that glute at the top. Hips up, hips up. Pinch that core. Cover. Okay, we're going to go straight into a plank again, so same position. I believe this is the last exercise. So just holding on, pinching that core. Same position, in a straight line, head to toe. 
and just holding that plank and breathe. Hips drop. And relax. That's it guys, we're done. Excellent work, very, very good. Whew. Please make sure to cool down now and refuel. You can find a cool down video in the link below. You can also subscribe to this channel to keep up to date with the latest workouts. Well done, all good wishes, and I'll see you again next time.